Welcome to this video on how to create a calendar in Corel Draw. The hardest part about creating a calendar in Corel Draw is simply choosing the document size. Once you set the page size, the script will take care of the rest, whether it's for the back of a business card or a four foot panel highlighting monthly specials. The script that is included with Corel Draw is capable of creating a calendar in almost any size that you may require. It is just a matter of setting the page size and configuring the proper settings. In this example, create a tabloid size wall calendar that displays the entire year. Start by creating a new document. In the New Document dialog, select Tabloid from the Page Size drop-down menu. As this is intended to be a small print run, for example only 200 copies, on a color printer at a local print shop, select RGB from the primary color mode and click OK. From the Tools menu, select Macro and Run Macro. When the Run Macro dialog box opens, from the Macros in the drop-down list at the bottom of the dialog box, select Calendar Wizard. Looking at the interface, the top left corner enables you to select the year and the specific months. Click the All button in the upper right corner if you want to create an entire year. Below this is the Language drop-down menu. The national holidays will change based on which country you choose out of the Language drop-down menu. Under Layout, you will see a number of different layouts. Experiment for a moment, and then select Year, Image, plus 12 small bottom. On the Page Layout tab, click the button that reads Adjust Fonts. This will automatically adjust the fonts to fit within the various regions. Alternatively, you can select the Small Header and Small Body tabs and manually adjust them. You also have the ability to select Color of Text. After you're happy with the settings, click the Generate button. It will probably take no more than about 15 seconds until you see the message Finished Generating Calendar. Then click OK and select Close. Now it is time to dress it up. Resize the larger grey rectangle to 10 inches by 8 inches using the Pick tool and place it at the top of the page. This will leave space to add a logo, address and year. If you're using Corel Draw X6, right click on the rectangle, select Frame Type, and create an empty power clip frame. Go to File, Import, and select an image that you want to use on the calendar. If you're using Corel Draw X6, drag the image on top of the power clip frame and release the mouse button. If you're using an earlier version of Corel Draw, such as Corel Draw Graphics Suite X5, you will need to follow the next few steps to manually create the power clip. Select the bitmap and select Effects, Power Clip, Place Inside Container. Use the large black arrow to click on the grey rectangle. If your image seems to disappear and you see an empty frame, don't worry. A power clip is like a porthole where you can hide items behind it. If the image does not sit in the middle of the porthole, you won't be able to see it. With the frame selected, from the Effects menu, select Power Clip, Edit Contents, and now you'll be able to see the image in the power clip frame. Drag to position and size the image where you would like it, And then from the Effects menu, select Power Clip and finish editing this level. Once your image is inside the Power Clip and centered where you want it, the final step is to add a background. 
By double-clicking on the Rectangle tool, you will be able to create a page frame around the size of the page that will be placed behind all other objects on the document. Select the eyedropper tool from the toolbox and pick a color from within the image, and then click the rectangle that you just created. And now simply give your calendar a year and a title, and you can import any company information such as a logo or an address. Now it's just a matter of printing out a proof, and if everything is okay, sending it off to the printer or copy center. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a calendar in CorelDRAW. This tutorial, as well as many others, can be found in the book Bring It Home with Corel Draw: A Guide to In-House Graphic Design, available through Corel Sales or Amazon.com.